change is deliberate. Maybe Natalie Merchant's going out on a ledge here, but she thinks the first single from the new 10,000 Maniacs album is typical of a more positive, uplifting turn in the band's material. Maybe it was just, you know, a time in our lives when we felt, you know, more optimistic. I don't know what caused these songs to be the way that they are. Which is not to say every one of them uh, is that way. There no, are there's a balance. Yeah. There's definitely a balance. There'd better be. What follows is slippery territory. Her name may be Merchant, but the merchandisers of the music industry would label this heresy. It's a recession, and we're a disposable industry in a way. I mean, music is very important to people, but so is food and clothing and shelter. And I know that records have become very expensive with the advent of CD. And, um, you know, if I had to choose between, you know, a new pair of shoes and a new 10,000 Maniacs record, I couldn't blame kids if they if they tape someone else's copy. As a favorite of 80s college kids, 10,000 Maniacs has been on sort of a parallel career track with R.E.M. and Michael Stipe. Is this the album, or do you care if this is the album that brings you success on the level that R.E.M. achieved a few years ago? I'm terrified of the success. <laughs> <laughs> that R.E.M. has achieved um, just because I'm very good friends with Michael and it, he can't even go to a rest stop on, on Route 81 without being recognized in the bathroom and to me that's very threatening when I meet people who really like our band they're very devout they just they generally know all the albums and, and they know all the lyrics and they derive something very powerful from it and um, that's, a, that's success to me. I've communicated successfully to people. Mark Shearer, CNN Entertainment News, New York.